This is the process shot. I'm Michael. I'm in search of an all-girl army of kung fu killers, and it has everything to do with Dolomite, the 1975 black exploitation film from director Derville Martin. Rudy Ray Moore stars as Dolomite, a pimp set up by his rival, Willie Green, and serving prison time. He's released early by the governor, with the help of a lady friend, to try and discover the source of the local drug problem that plagues the city streets. Naturally, Dolomite also uses this freedom to settle a few of his own problems. Most of all, getting the cops off his tail and getting his nightclub back from its new owner, Willie. If there were ever a black exploitation film that did its best to be as fun as it was funky, this is it. This almost feels like a quintessential example of the genre, as if it were written around playing with or even parodying other tropes or cliches of the genre. Most of all, though, it has fun with the anti-hero concept in Dolomite himself, where other black exploitation leads are either good people cleaning up the streets or bad people trying to get out. Dolomite is a badass cleaning things up so he can take back control, and he thrives in the knowledge that he cannot be stopped. I think that fun is probably the best word to describe the film in general, with luxury or excess being a close second. There's quite a great amount of that on display, from Dolomite's home and the woman who live with him, to his nightclub and the shows that go on. Speaking of which, it's a bit of a shame that for as much showboating as the club gets, it's only used for one or two scenes. Maybe they could only rent it for a weekend? I don't know. Even when the seams in the film's production show, the movie keeps going along with as much energy as ever. And yeah, Dolomite is a rather low-budget film with a number of shots that betray its production values, from visible microphones that briefly fall into shots, to poorly framed scenes that expose elements meant to be hidden from view. Thankfully, the fact that microphones can be seen shows that effort was put into the film's production. Then again, there are several points where the movie strays away from the central story, Sometimes to let Dolomite do his own thing, but most times seemingly to pad out the film or to introduce ideas that don't ever see a real conclusion. Falling victim to one of the flaws of other black exploitation films. I do feel that it adds to Dolomite's lasting charm and the overall notion of the film as a do it yourself production but in the moment it comes through as distracting at best. That said, I do think that Dolomite has more going in its favor than against it, especially when it comes to the title character, whose charisma bleeds through every scene. The end result is a movie that foregoes most sensibility and sticks to being itself. Rather, its most badass self. Dolomite, Durville Martin, 1975. Four stars. I definitely recommend giving it a watch. Anyways, that's it for me. If you like this review, leave it a like. If you have something to add, leave a comment. Subscribe to the channel for more reviews in the future. I gotta memorize some of the lines from this movie might be able to impress people with my new vocabulary if I ever get out of here. <laughs>